Till the Lord leads thee, O Panie, Służbem wierną wypełnialiśmy Kóz w łańcu szlica ranie, W łańcu niewolny targali, W łańcu niewolny targali. Through the years unto thee, O Lord, Faithful service we have rendered at the break. On Saturday, August 28th, 2021, South Deerfield's Holy Name of Jesus, Polish National Catholic Church, celebrated its 92nd anniversary. As part of their special 92nd anniversary, a new outdoor stone altar was blessed and consecrated by the Right Reverend Paul Sobiechowski, Bishop Ordinary of the Eastern Diocese of the Polish National Catholic Church, along with clergy from the Central Seniorate of the Eastern Diocese of the Polish National Catholic Church. Prior to the blessing and consecration of this altar, celebrating Holy Mass outdoors required moving the church's heavy indoor sacrificial altar. This task required the efforts of several parishioners every week. Before the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, the celebration of Holy Mass outdoors were held once in a while whenever possible. This changed in 2020 during the height of the pandemic. With not only state restrictions placed by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts on indoor offerings and gatherings, but also with the directives of the Prime Bishop of the Polish National Catholic Church, an outdoor Mass was the only option for in-person gatherings. With the amount of work required to move the indoor sacrificial altar outside, the Church voted to have a permanent outdoor altar assembled on its church grounds. Work was therefore instituted and contracted to the very talented Sonam Lama, who has fulfilled other impressive work for Holy Name of Jesus, namely the construction and the erection of an angel garden in 2019. This outdoor altar would be composed of two main materials, Goshen bluestone and maple wood. The maple wood, which would serve as the base and foundation for this Lord's table, came from an aged maple tree from the grounds of Holy Name of Jesus. This wood was milled, cured, and then weathered, and finally waterproofed with several coats of a marine shellac. The Goshen blue stone was chosen as the material for the top of the table, which measured 7 feet by 2 feet by 5 inches. While the stone itself did not come from the church's property, it was chosen because of its beauty, the ability to withstand New England weather, and the significance of the name Goshen. Though this particular stone is native to New England, the name Goshen is also a reference to a city mentioned in the Old Testament of the Holy Bible, as found in Genesis 46, 28. Consecrating an altar happens only once and was performed as follows. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. May heaven and earth. O Lord, hear our prayers, and let our cry come unto you. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty, eternal God, we humbly ask you to bless, to sanctify, and to consecrate this altar built for the Eucharistic sacrifice through which Christ becomes present to us. Receive the gifts which will be placed upon this altar as you accepted the offering of your high priest Melchizedek. In rendering thanksgiving to you, O God, May all your people who gather around this altar be sanctified to act justly, love tenderly, and walk humbly with you. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. May this stone be consecrated 
and sanctified by this anointing and God's blessings. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And also Amen. with you. We now anoint this altar. May God in his power make them holy, visible signs of the mystery of Christ and his church. First, an oil of holy chrism is used by the bishop who places five crosses on the table, one being placed in the center and one in each of its four corners. This anointing symbolizes the five wounds of Christ which took place during his crucifixion. Next, a vital of holy chrism is poured onto the entire altar and then rubbed into its entire area by the consecrating bishop. After the blessing and the consecration of the altar, the bishop's hands are then cleaned with the traditional lemon, salt, and then wiped with bread to remove the chrism from the hands of the bishop. The altar was then cleaned before placing altar linens in preparation of the celebration of Holy Mass which on this day was consecrated by the attending clergy. Well, thank you for your patience, but it's we only consecrate an altar once. So, uh, and I thank you uh, for the opportunity to be able to be with you here in South Deerfield. Uh, I thank you for the invitation, Father Corber and uh, the parish committee and all of you for uh, uh, giving me the opportunity to consecrate this new altar uh, for the glory of God and for the celebration of Holy Mass. <clears throat> Bishop Paul offered a sermon speaking of the importance of an altar dedicated to God and how this altar would draw others to Holy Mass whenever celebrated outdoors. One of the things that Jesus was always striving to affirm during his three years of earthly ministry was that he was the Son of God. He is the Son of God. He spoke it very plainly and in fact the past five weeks of the church we've been hearing another portion of John's Gospel where he speaks about himself being the bread of life and that if anybody wants to achieve heaven that they must partake of his body and drink his blood. And we know from scripture, we heard the words that it was too difficult, a concept, an idea, for many who followed Jesus to accept. And they left. They left Jesus 
because they could not understand how they could eat his body and drink his blood. And then, of course, Jesus turned to his apostles and said, Are you going to leave me too? And Peter, speaking for all of the apostles, said, Where will we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe that you are the Son of God. They came to believe that Jesus was the Son of God, and by that faith they were able to accept the, uh, the idea that, he could, that Jesus could share himself with his people by the sacrifice at, at the altar, by the offering of the Eucharist, by the apostles, their successors, and all the priests that would be ordained by these apostles for the growth and the building up of the body of Christ, the church. This is why the church exists. So that, as Jesus said, that they may all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they may be one in us, that the world may believe our purpose for gathering at this holy church before this newly consecrated altar is so that the world may believe. We gather and we witness Jesus Christ every time we come together and for the past 92 years holy name of Jesus Parish has gathered and witnessed to the presence of God in this community around these uh, to these homes that surround the church to the community of South Deerfield and this area of Western Massachusetts you are witnesses and you demonstrate Jesus every time we celebrate Holy Mass. And now that you have an outdoor altar, you not only have the opportunity to worship in church, but now you can take an, a permanent altar outside and worship Jesus for the world to see. They no longer have to come through doors to witness the consecration of the bread and the wine, they can share in the body and the blood of Christ with everyone that, they, that, that is visible and that can see this Holy Mass. The couple that's walking down the sidewalk right now, they may not be affiliated with the church, they may not have any concept of what's going on right now, but they do know that there are people here gathered for some purpose and that's the beginning of witness that is the beginning of discipleship that is the beginning of the miracle of the building of the body of Christ the church and every time holy name of Jesus has gone out in its 92 years into the community and done Jesus's work in the community then you have witnessed for Christ and you have helped build the body Christ the church. So as you join in celebration of this momentous occasion, and as you celebrate this consecration of a new altar to sacrifice to the Lord, as you do all of this, be mindful that we do this also that the world may come to believe as we do that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And through him, through him, the world will be saved. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Following Holy Mass, final remarks were offered not only by Bishop Paul, but also by Father Robert Corber, the pastor of Holy Name of Jesus, to all those who attended this special day. You know... I had the opportunity a few years ago to go to visit a friend in Iowa. And during the conversation, I kind of mentioned, I said, you know, I'm a lover of baseball. And I heard that the Field of Dreams baseball field 
is in Iowa. The next day, a couple of us went out to Dyersville and we visited the Field of Dreams ball field where there were children playing, running the bases, and what was the central theme of that movie, Field of Dreams? If they build it, they will come. And so to the honor and glory of God, we were able for our 92nd anniversary to dedicate this beautiful stone altar. Talking with Sonam, we had one of two choices. We could go with a limestone slab and then standing or laying next to the limestone slab was this beautiful blue Goshen stone. And it just hit me because according to Holy Scripture, Goshen has a very special place. It is a place that during the prime ministership of Joseph, all of the family moved to the Delta Peninsula of Egypt, which was known as Goshen. It was a place where they were able, through the blessings of the Pharaoh, to not only tend their flocks, but also to grow crops. And so, <coughs> this stone has a very, very special place in my heart that we have been called and directed by God to offer him our thanks and to be able to grow and to move forward. And so, Bishop, I am very grateful that you came here today to dedicate and to consecrate this altar. And it is my prayer that the blessings that Bishop has placed upon this altar might be able to magnify, to show others in our community the dedication that we have to worship God. And may we have many, many more Sundays and other days of holy obligation to be able to stand facing the church and to sacrifice the holy sacrifice of the Mass and to offer the bread and wine of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that we are all united with him. May God bless you. And again, Bishop, thank you in giving me an opportunity to address all of you. Uh, first, before we have our recessional hymn, now since he brought it up, we have to ask the, uh, I have to ask the question, is this heaven? Is it heaven? Is this heaven? It's not Iowa. It's not Iowa. It's not Iowa. <laughs> no, it, what, what is it? If this isn't heaven, it's what? It's South Deerfield. It's South Deerfield. <laughs> a part of heaven. But there's also at the very end of that movie, I love that movie, we went again this year, Karen and I went to Dyersville. But uh, at the end of the movie, when he's throwing, when he's playing catch with his dad, they had, they, he asks, is this heaven? And he goes, no, this is Iowa or South Deerfield. <laughs> and then uh, the question is asked, is there a heaven? And the, and the answer is, yes, you bet there's a heaven. It's the place where dreams come true. And then Kevin Costner says, then this must be heaven. So I want you to think about that too for Holy Name of Jesus Parish because this is the place where for many generations dreams come true. And uh, so maybe it is heaven, especially since God is here with us during the celebration of Mass. <laughs>